Welcome back to BT on this Wednesday. Tammy and Sid here with you. There is a haze over this city, and it's pretty much not going to leave until the weekend. Uh, an air quality statement courtesy of Environment Canada is still in effect because of the forest fires in Quebec and northern Ontario. Um, I, we're we're going to go to some generic shots from, from what we have here, CN Tower and, and, and a bunch of other cameras, mm -hmm. just to show you what's going on. This is from our chopper. And you can see, as Frank, you know, it, it, it's important to reiterate Frank Ferragini's point. This is this is strictly pollution here. This is this is the result of the forest fires. And I, I Tam, I got home. I didn't feel it when I left the studio here yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I got I, I I stopped off at a mailbox in Mississauga, and I got out of the car, and I'm like, did, how many skunks did I just hit on the road? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was smelling, and I it dawned on me when I got home. Because I'm fairly sheltered in my in my weather life, and I'm saying that in all seriousness. Because around the GTA, we you know we do live the charmed weather life. Like we got a couple thunderstorms in the summer, it's bad. We move on. A couple days of 25 centimeters in the winter, it's bad. We move on. There are parts of the country deal with this basically now throughout the summer, and I'm it's hitting me now. And again, just because I live a privileged weather life, it did it. I was very concerned with this yesterday. Like if I had to round a golf schedule at any point this week. You got, I'd, I'd cut loose. I wouldn't go out there. And uh, it's going to be basically that. There's 80 million Americans, too, affected by this. The scene at Yankee Stadium last night uh, was quite something. And it's just, it's really, to me, it's an eye-opener because this is not, this is an area that doesn't get a lot of stuff, for lack of a better term, weather-wise. And that's what kind of hit me yesterday. What, what struck you? Yeah, so I left uh, the building at uh, about, I would say, 11 o'clock, 11.30. And as soon as I walked out, I could smell the smoke. And you can see the haze. D didn't, for at that moment, I knew about the wildfires. Obviously, we talk about it here in news uh, for the last few weeks. But I actually went to my phone and wanted to look up to see whether or not there's been a news email letting us know about a fire along here somewhere like building, at Young like and Dundas, like, like an fire. actual yeah. fire that was somewhere close to the station because it smelled so strong. And then I walked up to uh, Bay, Dundas and Bay, and walked back. And in that time, my eyes, and I don't have allergies, my eyes were burning just in that time. And then I went to realize, like, this is just a, the wildfire. Looking up and looking at the haze that was over the city was just incredible to me. Like, it, it was shocking. I had to, like, and I never do, like, selfie videos. It's very rare. And I just sat there, and I, I had to do one. I just thought, my goodness. This, uh, the, the smell was so strong downtown. And what surprised me is that going further east home to Pickering, it wasn't as bad when I got there. Really? And you would think that it would be blowing in that way, but nope, not, not as bad as it was down here. Downtown, and like you were saying, a lot of people reached out to me saying that in Mississauga, in the West End, in Guelph, uh, it was pretty bad, significant. Kingston, really bad yesterday. Mm -hmm. Belleville, Hamilton, really bad yesterday in terms of the air quality. Uh, Toronto was the fourth most polluted city on Earth yesterday. New York City, the most polluted city on Earth. If you, if you thought Toronto was bad, check, go online. Well, we might even show you here at some point this morning. The, the, the contrast in New York City between mm -hmm. the day before and yesterday was un. Believable. Yeah. So uh, we are keeping our eyes on that. We're keeping a definite eye on Environment Canada to see if anything changes with the advisories. And uh, Tammy and our news team will let you know uh, immediately if that happens. Also, some, some big news on the roads this morning. It is busy. It's 7 o'clock. You're watching BT.